What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll teach you how to do a smooth zoom transition in Adobe After Effects. So I am here in my After Effects where I prepared a composition with two clips. This bottom clip or this first clip here is what we will transition from. Top clip here is what we will transition into. And I've just made a cut here after three seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to my composition, right click new on the null object. Nice. Then I'm going to go back 10 frames or so. Press S with my node selected. Click on scale. Move forward nine frames. So here, right? The scale to 250. Move forward one frame. To scale to 75 then forward another 10 frames and to scale to 100 then i will click on the, this one little here parent link and drag that to our node for both of our clips so we basically get this thing here so we already have somewhat of a transition right so let's get rid of these black edges the way we do that is search for an effect called the uh, motion tile just apply that put mirror edges output width 300 and height to 300 so that's beautiful it's a little bit easier than what we usually do in premiere with all the mirrors anyways now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of my keyframes on my node press f9 to do them easy i'm going to go into my graph editor let me zoom in a little bit i think it's a little bit difficult for you to see what i'm doing here so this one i want to really ramp up but to get it fully ramped up, we actually want this one to go down. So you can see we ramp up very quickly and then it swaps. I'm going to do the same with this one, but except it's going to be kind of opposite, you know. Now we have this thing going on. That's quite beautiful. All right. What else can we do? We can add some motion blur. You do that just by pressing in this one, the two clips. So we get this automatic, you know, blur, as you can see. And I think this adds a lot to the effect. If you don't see this, just press F4 and it becomes visible. But I guess that was actually all I had for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and uh, dropping a like on this video. Also, feel free to leave a comment letting me know which type of tutorial you would like to see next. But anyways, take care, guys. Bye bye.